Since November has begun, it's time to do more videos for the month. This month, I have two Christmas movies to work on. Yeah, I know, I'm doing two for this month instead of next month. Well, next month, there's more movies that will get their own videos. But for now, let's begin with one of the Christmas movies for the month with Elf. Seems like a great start because the movie turned 20 years old, released on November 7th, 2003. Yeah, this movie gained a lot of following after the movie came out. I'll talk about that when I get to the legacy portion. So now, let's get to the review of the movie. An orphan baby crawls into Santa's sack and is unwillingly taken back to the North Pole. Since the baby doesn't have a name, they name him Buddy. He is an elf throughout his life, but realizes he's more taller than the other elves. Papa Elf explains to him that he was born to a guy named Walter Hobbs, and the only way for Buddy is to travel to New York, where the father works at. But yeah, the story is corny, but the idea is actually not that bad. Yes, I've seen characters that have this kid body, but into adulthood like Pee Wee Herman and even the movie Big with Tom Hanks. At least there's more life than being an elf. Anyways, when I saw the previews on TV as a kid, I thought, this looks like a cute Christmas movie to watch, and yeah, it was. I did have it on DVD when I watched it back in the day, though I'll talk about how many times I watched this movie. Now let's get to the characters. I'll save Buddy the Elf the best for last and talk about the other characters. Walter Hobbs is an executive publisher for children's book, played by the late, great James Caan. I will say, when I was a kid, I couldn't follow Walter much. As an adult, now I do. I love his reaction to Buddy and the way he's subtle and even how Caan trying to react and say. I think Walter is great in the movie. Then you have other characters like Santa, in which he's a bit of a grump sometimes, but still nice. Jovi is a fine love interest for Buddy, though Zoe Deschanel does a good job of her acting. Side note, I do find it odd that she had blonde hair rather than her brunette hair as an owl, but I'll leave it at that alone. We have Walter's family like his wife Emily, his son Michael, other characters like Papa Elf, played by Bob Newhart, the manager at Gimbal's, which for some reason his name is Wanda, Walter's secretary Deb, some of his co-workers, his boss, the elves, the newscaster, and Miles Finch, in which he had a great fight scene with Buddy, all because Buddy called him an elf. So yeah, there's not much to say of the minor characters, aside from Walter. Now let's get to Buddy the Elf. Many people say he's either what makes or breaks this film. I mean, yeah, as a kid, I liked Buddy a lot because he was more of an innocent and can be naive. As an adult, he did get a little worse when I got older, unlike Walter where it's the complete opposite, but I will say I do find Buddy to be believable. I do find in certain scenes where the nativity is at, and he could be funny sometimes, though the scene where he shouts no of his father being on the naughty list is funny. Though I do see people say Buddy screams too much sometimes, like this door swing scene, yeah, people will find Buddy annoying sometimes. And while I'm on the same boat as some people, Buddy's still got its humor, naive, and innocence that you have to love him or find him a little irritating. Though, that scene Buddy helping Michael out with the snowball, that's pretty cool. I need a bodyguard like him. And while I'm mixed on the character, Will Ferrell still did a good job. In fact, this was his starring role right after he left Saturday Night Live. Well, old school movie came out first, and then Elf. Kudos to him. With the characters out of the way, let's talk about the comedy. It's still funny, but not super hilarious as other comedies I've watched. Even Home Alone, a Christmas movie in the same genre, has way more laughs than this. Man, talk about differences there. The writing itself is fine, but it could have been cynical. I like how in the North Pole scene they use stop motion puppets, which is referring to the Rankin Bass special, Rudolph the Reno's Reindeer. Speaking of that, the effects are good, but not great, hence why the budget for a small movie. So yeah, Elf is a good Christmas movie. Yeah, it's not one of my favorites, nor it's one of the best Christmas movies. I think Elf holds up pretty well during the past 20 years. I know I watched it quite a few times as a now, but it's not as much as Home Alone. That one I could watch over and over, and not have Elf reach at the top. 
I will give credit to the director John Favreau for making it, which I didn't know he directed that movie because later on he directed Iron Man, which is my favorite movie of his. And while there are awkward scenes in the movie, it still gives a good nature Christmas movie to watch. In fact, Roger Ebert called the movie has a heart, a brain, a wicked sense of humor, and it charms the socks right off. Kids will definitely love it, and for adults, I think they'll like it fine. But now let's get to Legacy. I won't say too much on rewards since there's not that many, but Elf got so much ranking by critics of being the greatest Christmas films list. Like, man, they find it even more enjoyable than the other Christmas movies. As for box office, it ranked number 7 in 2003, and yeah, made it to top 10. There was going to be a sequel for the movie, but they cancel it. I know World Pharaoh had a hard time during the movie's production, and it would be difficult to dress up with that costume since it's pretty tight. So yeah, a sequel for Elf is not going to happen. There are other medias for Elf, like having a Broadway musical in 2010, and even an animated special called Elf Buddy's Musical Christmas which I totally forgot that existed. Besides other media, there are merchandise for the movie, and yeah, they pop up a lot. Yeah, they had so many merchandise, which it's insane. But yeah, the legacy for the movie has continued on for the past 20 years, and even marketing during Christmas time. And just in time for that, they announced that the movie is returning in theaters. Now is the chance for the month and the holidays. But that is all for the movie, Elf. I still admire the movie despite its issues, but it's still a Christmas movie to watch during the holidays. Happy 20th anniversary to the movie, and one of the next videos is actually a Christmas movie that's also getting an anniversary, which you will see it soon. I will see you all for the next video.